Now it is Senior Max qualifying group, uh, qualifying heat two, B and C. Let's run through the starting order. Philip Vava on pole position will have uh, Teresa Babikova alongside for company. Matilda Olsen, who won her first heat, uh, is in third position. Mario Novak alongside the Swedish driver on the second row. Gilhelm de Oliveira and Ehad Turka on row three. Patrick Runquist and César Gazot, that's row four. Laszlo Zueva and Zombor Kovac, that's row five. And the completion of the top ten starting order. From 11 to 20, it's Laurie Lepay, Teddy Clinton, Alex Pendleberry, Louis Gilbert, Itsuki Sato, Luna Blum, Rick Boothorn, Emil uh, Kleinzig, uh, with Cameron Birdler and Lucas Horsman completing the top 20. Rounding out the grid, it is Emily de Hoys, uh, Jordan Dolishka in the 326, uh, Andreas Herbert, Antoine Antier, Ben Donkin, uh, Manel Galofre Turner from Spain, Jordi van der Eyck, Kevin Holtzlag, uh, Carol Kret, Ben Davis, Niki Gossi, and Christian Gobi from Italy. That rounds out the 34 drivers. That's 17 rows of senior max competitors uh, this time around. So 34 in the first heat, 34 in this one. Again, the clock is reset to 10 minutes plus an additional lap. For all the juniors, it is seven minutes plus an additional lap. And here we go, the controlling start of the formation. Uh, ahead of the race start itself, very well timed here by Bobby Kova, who will be alongside pole sitter Philip Vava from Spain. So it's time for the second of the three qualifying heats to get underway here under the fantastic Saturday afternoon sunshine here in Italy at Adria Karting Raceway. So that's very good control and indeed. This is going to be hopefully a textbook start here in the second qualifying heat. It's groups B and C here in Senior Max action at Adria. So the revs will rise very shortly as they go into the tram lines. Will we go green? Yes, we do. Good start there. And uh, looks like uh, Mario Novak definitely getting in the thick of things. And could, po well, could have possibly had gone for second position there going into turn two. It's getting three abreast and someone's very, very wide coming out of turn number two. That was very close indeed. So that's great work by uh, Philip Vava and Teresa Babikova, who's actually rocking these. Oh, there's a big clash coming out of turn four. Someone's very... Very, very badly compromised. One of them might have been. That is the 364. That is Ehad Turka. That's been severely compromised there, I believe. So uh, gets back going again. And the side pod of the 361, that's Leon Mandel, starting from 22nd position. Looks to be a bit skewiff. Looks to be a little bit higher than it should be. So maybe there's been a little bit of a contretemps there. But leaders come across the start-finish line. At the moment, it is Vava from Novak. Olson Babi Kova now down to fourth position. Run Chris Gazor, Kovac, Blum, Di Oliveira, and Gilbert. So, uh, right, okay, so Mandel was affected, Dolishka and Andreas Hebert. So, so Hebert was uh, definitely one that was compromised. So, that's Dolishka and Hebert. So, Mandel still running. So, that looks to be that we will have two drivers no longer taking any further part in this qualifying heat. But at the moment, it is Philip Vava from Spain who has over a six-tenth of a second advantage over Mario Novak, who started in fourth position. Then in third, it's Matilda Olsen. Teresa Babikova is behind. So that's great to see two, uh, two women drivers in the top five here. So Olson's already won one heat, and it's getting incredibly spicy down towards the back part of the top ten. There's about a five-cart squabble. So Dolishka and Hebel have now been... Uh, Retired officially from this race. So some other moves up the order. Yolivera has got past Luna Blum. So that's three women in the top ten here. So uh, as the number 303 of Gazor is trying to fight, find a way past Kovac. So Kovac up into what is effectively sixth position. So the French driver already trying to mount an offensive going through turn five at the right hander. But Philip Favre. Now there has been a penalty issued. A three second time penalty the 3-2-3 three, three of Kevin Holzlag. So, Holzlag at the moment will go uh, down from. That's a three-second penalty. That'll put the 3-23 uh, the into round about 31st position at the minute. But 
Mario Novak is on the charge and is closing down. Hand over fist to Philip Vava from Spain, who's continuing to lead. And with him is going Matilda Olson. Teresa Bavikova doing a great job in fourth place. So has a lot of space behind her, so doesn't have to worry about the likes of, uh, well, it's not Runquist because Kovac has got passed. So Runquist now has uh, Cesar Gazzo for company. A little bit further down the order. Just seeing what moves are happening here. There's some great moves uh, happening. Luna Blum's definitely getting stuck in there. The likes of uh, Birdler, Pendlebury, and Zwaver. So, uh, I have to say there's some great battling going on. It's been very hard and fast, but I tell you what, it's been pretty clean. Oh, that's very dicey. Whoever that is, uh, a little bit further down the order. Trying to keep an eye on that, but there's a battle where it, it nearly went three wide coming out of turn six. These drivers are really, well, it looks like... Uh, Mario Novak's charge against uh, Philip Vava has been somewhat halted by a certain Matilda Olson, who's now up into second. So Olson looking to make it two for two this weekend so far. So Babikova has got a gap of around about seven tenths or so between herself and uh, Zombar Kovac, who is currently running in fifth position. Then it's run Chris Gazzo de Oliveira and Lewis Gilbert, the Dorai Diamond, already up into ninth position now. Uh, ahead of Luna, Luna Blum, Lazlo Zueva is about four tenths of a second adrift uh, from the 319, who's uh, running with JJ Racing. So Dolishka and Hebout, two uh, unfortunate retirees on the very first lap of asking after that multi cart incursion uh, off of turn number four. Five minutes and 42 seconds plus an additional lap. And it is, oh, this is getting very good indeed. Olsen's trying to go up the inside of Ava, and Novak goes with to take second. Brilliant move there by the pair of them. Absolutely timed it to perfection. Got the momentum coming out of turn number one. And Olson and Novak pounced past Philip Vava, who's now down to uh, third position. Oh, there's a great battle a little bit further back. Now, who is that? That's Cesar Gazzo battling away with Patrick Runquist. And also, I think Dioli Vera's with them too. So it's two KR Sport drivers behind the, uh, the French driver of uh, Cesar Gazzo, who is currently running in sixth position. So great job there by Cesar. So at the moment, top 15, Vava, Olson, Novak, Babikova, Kovac, Runquist, Gazzo, Di Oliveira, Gilbert, Bloom, Zoever, Pendlebury, Lepay, and Kleinsich, and uh, Boothorn. So uh, great work by Cesar Gazzo. I tell you what though, at the minute, well, it's a real shame because uh, Laszlo Zoever's finally got past Luna Bloom for 10th position. Keeping an eye a little bit further down the order as says, whoa, I've n oh, I didn't expect that one. There's someone that was trying to go around the outside of somebody else going through into turn two. And that was the 2-2, two, two, that was the, uh, I think, that was the 3-2-2 two, two of uh, Christian Gorby who started down in 34th and is, was trying to go for 28th just then. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting because the top three have been battling away. It was half a second between Olson, Novak and Vava. Babikova's now in the mix. Now bring Kovac, maybe even uh, Cesar Gazzo if you're lucky. As uh, there's a little bit of jostling between Vava and Novak for second going through turn two. Now into the left-hander at turn number three. Olson still leading, Babikova's still there with them as is Kovac. So, Kovac and then Gazzo. The Oliveira has got past Runquist. And we have, um, right, now Zueva, I think, has just got past Lewis Gilbert. So Gilbert, still fresh from uh, recovering from his right wrist fa fracture from uh, an incident uh, in the UK uh, at PF International a few, we uh, a few uh, weeks or so ago. He's back and he's racing. It's good to see the Dorai Diamond back uh, behind the steering wheel. So we've got just over three minutes and... Uh, Five seconds to go here. Matilda Olson still leads. The uh, fastest lap of the race, however, has gone to Lore Lepai, down in 12th position. Other changes, uh, Teddy Clinton's gone up the uh, order up into 17th. Uh, Galofre Torno from Spain in 18th. There's been a few other changes. Mandel up to 30th. Emily de Hoy's up to 22nd. Jordi van der Eyck behind Ben Davis, it looks like. Uh, that's 20th and 19th place, respectively. Uh, so there's a great uh, battle from, I think that might be, around 11th position. So that'll probably be the likes of Lepay and Kleinsig and Pendlebury uh, in the mix there. 
And I've just seen, yep, that's uh, Pendlebury in around about 14th place. But still, it's going to be quite interesting to see how the battles a little bit further up the order will be. As there's a gap of around four tenths of a second between Cesar Gazzo and uh, Guilherme de Oliveira. But the battle for fifth, quite clearly on now, as Teresa Babikova is coming under increasing pressure from uh, from Kovac, so Zomba Kovac, and then Cesar Gazzo has been hustling uh, all four tire, all four Mojo tires on the 303 to catch up with Kovac, as has Gilhelm de Oliveira, and in the process they've dropped uh, Patrick Runquist a little bit further back. So Runquist is about a second off uh, de Oliveira at the minute. So at the front of the field, it is still Matilda Olson. The gap between her and Mario Novak last time around was four tenths of a second. They come across the start finish line again. Gap now down by a tenth and a half. So Novak is charging. There's a 50.758. Laurie Lepai still has the fastest lap of the race. Gilhelm de Oliveira sets a personal best as Babikova is absolutely fending off with all her might. Uh, Zombo Kovac, who finally goes up the inside of the 338. Uh, Speed World Academy driver. Here comes Cesar Gazzo. Going to go up the inside of Babikova into turn four. The French driver makes the move stick. Now here comes Guilherme de Oliveira. No, Gazzo gets pounced on by uh, Babikova who retakes the place. It's a, it's a cat and mouse game. And I tell you what, Babikova seriously holding her own. And then de, de Oliveira goes round the outside of the pair of them. Round turn number seven. Uh, Gazzo back up at the inside of Babikova going through turn number eight. This is absolute dynamite between the trio battling there. And this is over around sixth position. Forget about the lead. The sixth place battle is what you want to be keeping an eye on. That's absolutely brilliant stuff. So uh, at the moment, top 10 with around 30 seconds to go. Olson, Novak, Vava, Kovac, Di Oliveira, Gazzo, Babikova, Runquist and Tueva and Gilbert rounding out the top 10. So Runquist trying to get a think of where to go past uh, Babikova and makes the move up the inside into turn four. Babikova had a, re a really good run on Gazor last lap around. So time's about to expire here. So the leader's coming through into turn number eight. So the time is now expired here at Adria in the second qualifying heat. So, the last lap board, as she comes around the final corner, will be shown to Sweden's Matilda Olson. Mario Novak in second. Philip Vava from Spain in third. Gap between first and second, just over half a second. So, Zomba Kovac in fourth place. Gilhelm de Oliveira in fifth. Uh, Gazor, Hund, Chris, Babikova, Zueva and Lepai ran out the top ten. So, Lewis Gilbert now drops to 11th position. Other changes, Antoine Antti up into 23rd past uh, Rick Boothorn. Laurie Lepai gets past Lewis Gilbert for the, uh, the last position in the top 10. As Emily de Hoys went up the inside of probably Jordi van der Eyck there, going through turn four. Oh, that was dicey going into turn five between the pair, but de Hoys hangs on for the moment. Meanwhile, it's one more corner to go, and it's going to be two qualifying heat wins in a row. For Sweden's Matilda Olson from Strawberry Racing does the double here at Adria this afternoon. Ahead of Mario Novak. Philip Vava from Spain rounds out the top three. Zombo Kovac takes... Uh, now, let's see. Kovac started in 10th position and takes fourth ahead of Guilherme de Oliveira. So Cesar Gazzo uh, in the meantime... Now, where did Cesar start? In eighth position, finished in sixth. But Matilda Olson goes into prime position tomorrow as one of the top 28, I would say, provisionally standing. So Matilda Olson takes a second successive qualifying heat win here under the Saturday afternoon sunshine in Adria in Italy, ahead of Mario Novak. Then uh, we had Philip Vava from Spain, Zomba Kovac in the 372 in fourth. Guilhelm de Oliveira, Cesar Gazzo. Then we had Patrick Rundquist from Sweden, who finished exactly where he started. Teresa Babikova started in second position, but still, it was two women drivers in the top eight. So uh, the Speed World Academy driver did a great job holding off uh, the likes of Gazzo and uh, Kovac uh, for as many laps as possible. Laszlo Zueva in ninth position. Uh, which was exactly where Laszlo started. And then in 10th place, 
it was Laurie Lepai who started in 11th position. Running out the order, it was Luna Blum who was close. So two women three women drivers in the top 12. That's a really good sign of things to come for uh, women competing in karting. Uh, with uh, Matilda Lawson definitely showing what she was capable of. Then we had uh, Birdler, Horseman, Kleinsig, Clinton, Pendlebury, Van der Eyck, Donkin, Davis, De Hoyce. So another uh, female driver. That's uh, four in the top 21. Uh, we had uh, Galofri Torna, Boothorn, Sato, Antje, Turka, Kret, Sidler, Hodslag, uh, who was demoted by three seconds down to 29th at the flag ahead of Mandel uh, with, Go um, with uh, Niki Gossi and Christian uh, Gobi uh, rounding out the finishing order with both Dolishka and Hebel uh, looking to have come to blows by accident through uh, an unwanted uh, into uh, altercation with uh, both Delishka and Helbert being the only two retirees from that race. So the next senior max, well, the final 